I'm starting the tutorial at the point where I've just opened MEP17 and imported a single JPG, which you can see in the monitor preview. I've also changed the length of the photograph from its default of 7 seconds to something more appropriate, let's say 30 seconds. Let's suppose I want to start with a close-up shot of St Paul's itself and then pan down to the buses and pan around a little bit more in the street and then zoom out so that you can see the original total photograph. So the first thing we do is to make sure that the object, in this case the photograph, is selected and then go to Effects, Movement Effects, Size and Position. By the way, you might find you can't see the entire dialog without scrolling down a little. I normally keep it in this lower position. Now we're going to place our keyframes. The basic idea is to set up the picture using the size and position dialog and then click the little keyframe icon shown here. If you hover over any of these icons then you get a little pop-up showing you what it does. So here's the position after I've zoomed in to my required starting point and made my first keyframe. Now let's suppose that you want to maintain that view for a couple of seconds before you start doing any panning or zooming. So drag the marker across to the two second position and then click the icon once again. Now let's assume you want to pan down to take in the street level in front of St Paul's. So move the marker across again and then set up the position and then click the icon once more. To some extent this will be a matter of trial and error because you won't know just how long to make the pan so that it's not too fast and not too slow. It will be a matter of personal choice. This was my first attempt and I think I'd like to make it a little bit slower so I'm going to change it. I do that by simply dragging the third keyframe icon the one we've just made, a bit further over to the right. At any stage, to see how the work is coming along, you can just return the orange marker to the beginning of the clip, for instance by pressing home, and, and play it in the usual way. Here's what it looks like after that last adjustment. Still arguably a little bit fast, but we'll leave it like that for now. Here's the situation after adding two more keyframes. Number four was just a copy of number three, a short distance to the right. I made number five in the similar fashion to before by moving the orange marker to the required point and then adjusting the size and position dialog so that I had the view that I wanted. Note that you don't actually have to click the keyframe icon each time apart from that very first time because MEP does it automatically as soon as you use the size and position dialog to make a change. At any time you can just move the keyframes around to adjust their positions or you can delete one or more of them and so on. Each time you do this you might just want to start from the very beginning and play the whole clip again to see how it looks. This final screenshot shows the position after adding the last keyframe, keyframe number 7 where I've zoomed out to show the full original photograph. The only other change I made then was to add another three seconds to the length of the photograph because it was a little bit too short to allow a proper fade out. Here's what the final clip now looks like.